In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my engine swap Ferrari 250 GTO, and it is a crazy car, probably one of the craziest cars I've ever seen in South of Florida. This car here is a $50 million car. It is the most expensive car in South of Florida. It's also limited. So to be engine swapping this thing, it is pretty crazy. So let's actually go ahead and check out what the car even looks like. So here's the car right here. It is fully just blacked out. I painted it a matte gray and I also got these matte gray tires for it. And this thing is just a complete monster of a car. <laughs> It may not look like it at first, you know, this is just like a classic car right here. And when this thing is stock, it is not fast at all. But with the performance mods I added to it today and is running rear wheel drive, this thing is a complete monster and it's just dangerous to have this on the road. So basically what I have done to this thing is a stage three engine, stage three turbocharging, race brakes, race reduction, grip tires, race transmission. Here's the suspension, but it honestly just doesn't even matter. I honestly just recommend stock suspension and then wheel width. It also doesn't really matter. Drive turn, I have it on rear wheel drive because I definitely want to be sliding this thing around. Differential is stock, steering is stock, and here is the gearing. So this thing just, okay, as you guys can see, as I was saying, this thing just slides, all right? That's all it does. This is, this is all it wants to do, all right? Slide. This thing has less traction than Hellcats, if I'm being honest with you guys. This thing is just crazy, right? This thing is just 10 Hellcat engines combined. This is just, I don't even know what to say. This thing just drifts and drifts and drifts. It just does not drive in a straight line at all whatsoever. This thing is just a drift monster, right? As you guys can see, this thing drifts amazingly well. You can do all sorts of drifts. You can drift normally, do tight drifts like this, or you can even do wide drifts, which I'm gonna go do over in the bigger intersection over here but this thing just has all the power in the world it is just so quick it just feels wrong because i don't think a 50 million dollar classic car should even have this amount of power behind the wheel as you guys can see here's that normal drifting you can also do a wide drift you can basically just drift the whole intersection this thing is just crazy and then this thing is also very very quick let me actually do a quick speed test right here so you can't actually turn traction control off i don't know this car you can't turn off traction control but let's do a speed test here as you guys can see zero to 60 is very very quick zero to 100 is even quicker and this thing just keeps going all right the acceleration is very quick but it does only top out at 208 which is not that high but not that bad but this thing you can get clean clean drifts with it like this thing is just tons of fun to drive you can just have so much fun honestly i do not get bored of driving this car i can hit some pretty cool drifts with it if it cooperates let's try to hit one right here okay that was a little bit early there but yeah as you guys you got i think you guys know what i mean this thing is just super fun you can definitely get clean drifts with it and it's just a blast to drive around it just feels super wrong though because this 50 million dollar car is the most expensive car in south of florida and in reality you really don't want to crash this thing because you're probably going to be in debt for the rest of your life tires probably are 100k alone you definitely don't want to be having this much power behind a car like this this car is more of a collection car sit in your garage you know for show for car shows and stuff like that definitely not for racing or drifting especially but it's just a blast to drive this thing and it is just so fun if you guys have this car and you guys want to see how it how fun it really is to drive then you guys can copy my build right there definitely want to have rear wheel drive because all wheel drive this thing is not 100 a drag car or anything like that it's not that fun it's not that fast but with rear wheel drive this thing is just super fun to drive you can slide it all over the map but that pretty much just concludes the video. I just wanted to show you guys this 250 GTO engine swap real quick. Let me know what you guys think of this car. Also comment down some video ideas you guys would like to see. But that is pretty much it. Make sure you guys leave a like. Get your grandma and grandpa to subscribe. What did he say? And I will see you all in the next video.